What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Teen Mom 2 star Kaylin Lowry announced the gender of her fourth child. So she is going along with the pattern here and having a fourth boy. I do, I don't want to say I feel bad for her because it, it's like terrible, right? Like she's gonna have a baby, that's amazing. Hopefully he's healthy, whatever. But we all know how badly she wanted a girl and that she was probably hoping and praying that this was a girl but it turns out that it's gonna be a fourth boy for her, especially when you consider that Tyler uh, from Teen Mom OG is the opposite. Like he's been hoping and praying for one boy, but he keeps having girls. It really is funny how that works for some people. Um, but yeah, she's announced via a gender reveal that she is going to be having her fourth boy. Uh, this is the first of her children to have the same father. So we do have to give her a round of applause for that. She's got a son, Isaac, who she shares with Joe Rivera. She's got Lincoln, who she shares with Javi Marroquin, and Lux, who she shares with Chris Lopez. And now, of course, this next child, is fathered by Chris Lopez. In fact, it was his aunt who leaked the news that Kale was even pregnant in the first place, and then his dad who confirmed it, both of them on Instagram. And just to wrap up this triangle of uh, the Lopez family putting all the news out there before Kale can, it was actually her baby daddy, Chris, who leaked the news that the baby was a boy. I, you know, here's what I was wondering. I put it in my question when I you know, shared the post on social media, but, why did Kale do a gender reveal with this child considering she has always been adamant about never finding out the sex of her child until she actually met the child in labor? So I'm quite curious as to why that changed now all of a sudden. A lot of you guys suggest that um, it might be because, first of all, it's Chris and she does anything Chris wants because, you know, she's so obsessed with him or whatever. Some of you guys also suggested that she was hoping this would be her final baby and that it was a girl, so she was too excited to find that out. Um, and then, you know, I've got a question. Outside of just the gender reveal thing, why the heck did Chris even know the sex of the baby? Kale has a PFA against him, which I'm assuming means they're not even supposed to be in contact with one another. Is that not a fourth violation of this PFA? He was just released from jail a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, after he was arrested for the third time, um, third violation of this PFA. So are we gonna have to write him up for a fourth violation here? Like the whole thing is a freaking mess. They were also uh, just a couple of months ago, speaking of this new child that they've got together and this PFA he keeps violating, they were recently facing off in court together, reportedly of course, um, because Chris wanted to sign over his rights to the other son that they already have together named Lux. So it's just, this whole situation is so like ghetto, so ratchet, so Jerry Springer, all the things that Kill described her castmate Brianna De Jesus of being. Meanwhile, this is not the kind of situation that Brianna has going for herself, ironically enough. On a more positive note, Kale claims that she and her sons are all very excited and well adjusted to the news of another baby joining the family. This is what she had to say in her exclusive interview with Us Weekly magazine, and I quote, the kids and I are so excited to be adding another baby boy into the mix. Thank you all so much for your continued support and well wishes. Hopefully the rest of this pregnancy will go smoothly as we anticipate the arrival of our newest addition. I'm almost 16 weeks pregnant and it's been a rough few months this time around. I've had nausea, morning sickness, and absolutely no energy. This week I'm starting to feel a bit better and I'm really hoping it stays this way. Going through nausea and morning sickness while trying to keep the news a secret can be quite isolating. And you know, I'm sure it is, but this is just a very sad situation that is so far removed from, you know, the premise of what teen mom claims to be. I really do hope that Dr. Drew and Nessa stop handling situations like this with kid gloves and start calling it what it is, which is dysfunctional, ridiculous, unhealthy for children, and you know, just everything like that. Like I really do hope that they call it what it is so that the young viewers of the show don't think it's normal for like a 25, 26, 27 year old to have all these kids by all these different people for no 
reason. It's not healthy. Um, clearly, it is a symptom of something going on with her. Uh, one thing I do want to say is that uh, according to Kale, she has been going to therapy and I really am happy that that's something she's doing because it clearly is something she's needed for a long time. Like it's unfortunate that she's only just now getting it four kids in like a second one with someone who is allegedly trying to sign away his rights to your other kid, someone who you have an active PFA against like that's unfortunate therapy before that could have helped you avoid that but um, it is better late than never. This could save her from having a fifth one, third one with Chris. I really don't know, but um, we can only hope for her at the end of the day. How do you feel about the fact that Kale is on her fourth boy? She also joked a little bit earlier that she would be willing to have a fifth kid in the hopes that it would be a girl. I personally hope that at that point she would just gender select and go to a sperm bank, but I digress. I'm a lot more interested in hearing what you have to say about everything. So please make sure to leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.